I do not know how this happened, ladies and gentlemen, but I am joined today by three Australians. It's an Australian <laughs> invasion. We got Heinze here. And Heinze, introduce these two crazy goons you got with you today okay. in, in the Welcome. flesh. Welcome. Everyone, welcome, Cubs fan. Welcome, everyone out there. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Good morning. I hope you have a great day. Um, I made a huge, huge mistake. I actually left the house unlocked. <laughs> and unfortunately, DJ uh, DJ Twerking on Twitch and also Kakarot, up, a huge supporter of yourself, Cubs, and, and myself for a long yeah. time, decided to join us as a, as a guest today on, uh, on my stream and therefore also on this video as well. Kakarot's so, uh, uh, a legend, DJ, seen you around too. Uh, we're really glad to have you two on the video. And so it's, I, I, I we weren't, Heinze wasn't going to bring him on. I was like, if they're there in real life, we got to bring him on Rogue Action. Let's go. And so, <laughs> so everyone fair, knows here in the fam. Fair, um, I, oh, go I, ahead. <laughs> I did lock the door. <laughs> Let's be clear. I did lock the door okay. of the studio and you said unlock it and let them in. This is on you, Cubs. Let's be clear. Uh, and this is on you. Fair, I also kept their Jay from trying to break in the <laughs> door. Try. Thank you, Cubs. Look at me here. You're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is going to be a fun video, a unique opportunity. Let me give you guys the layout of the show today. But before I get to that, I am gone all week. As you guys are seeing this video, I am at the Magic Kingdom with my family in Florida um, at Disney World. And so I've got videos ready to release for you guys this week, a great new modding series that I'm doing with Grid, and you guys are going to see, and a couple other uh, videos coming your way. And so look for that. Uh, but in this video, we are going to, we got a meme of the week we're going to show here. I'm, I, I, don't, I don't think Kakarot and uh, DJ, you guys haven't seen it yet, right? Okay, no, no. So, so they're going to see it fresh. We'll see their reaction. And then we're going to talk about um, a legendary character, not Echo, that I think could come because of the Bad Batch. And then Heinze and I have a pair of underrated Zetas that we think will be fun, spicy picks for you guys. Okay, so here is the meme of the week. You guys ready? All right. Let's go. Here it is. Darth Maul ignites his second blade. John Williams and his orchestra. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. I don't know. <laughs> This might not even be that funny. Maybe it's just because it's 1.19 a.m. in the morning where I'm at right now. But Christopher Lee here, he's just like, this is clearly the face that the orchestra is, the, the, the choir is making while they sing that song. It's, this is oh, a face. Wow. It is quality. No, it's I saw this one coming over to H's house and had a good laugh in the cab over here. So it's definitely a quality meme. Thank you. Thank one. you. Uh, you cold. must be a prequel memer then, Kakarot, if you saw it. Yes, I am. Oh, good guy. That's a good, that's a good man, ladies and gentlemen. Check out r slash prequel means for good laughs every day. All right, let's move on. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the Bad Batch. So here is the legendary character I think is a sleeper pick. Now, if, I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer for the new for the new Bad Batch, but Grand Moff Tarkin, I think he's just, a, just uh, he's not Moff Tarkin. I think he's Admiral Tarkin at this point, um, is very much so seeming to be the big bad of the Bad Batch series. And so once we see that, I think it could make a lot more sense to have a new version of Tarkin coming to this game and having those five Bad Batch characters unlock him. Because to, to me, Echo Legendary doesn't make a ton of sense because we, we're only going to have four Bad Batch at that point, right? And then one Echo, like wh where's the fifth character to come from? And maybe you could toss Rex in there, maybe give him the Bad Batch tag or something like that and then unlock the Legendary Echo. I don't know. So what do you guys think? All right, let me let me start off before these guys wind in. I, whilst I love the concept, Cubs. Oh no! And I, I love Tarkin. I hear a big butt coming. <laughs> but I have the big butt. I think it. I think it's going to be a legendary, but I think it's going to be Echo. I really do. I think it's going to be Echo. I think Tarkin might get a bit of a tweak. I think he needs some love. I think he does. He's not. I. He, he does some good work, but I think for the character that he is and how important he is in this game and also in Star Wars. I think that he still, you know, might be more in for a rework than a legendary. That's just my opinion, and it means absolutely nothing. Fellas, what, what do you think? DJ, it's always what do you reckon? subject to change, right? Subject to change, bro. <laughs> we know how that works. But, DJ, what do you think? Do you think it's going to be a legendary Tarkin, or, or, or do you think it's going to be um, To be 100% honest, I am out of the loop with Clone Wars. My bad. I'm sorry, community. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 
sorry. We got, we, we, we got the informative people on today, ladies and gentlemen, straight up. Cac, what do you think, bro? What do you reckon here? Uh, what do you, think? You, you, you love the Bad Batch. You're a Bad Batch. Bro. I do. I'm massive fan of the clones in general. I reckon we're actually going to get a journey-based event. It's going to be journey for Echo. You're going to end up having the first half all being around the original clones. Okay. Back half being around Bad Batch. I think that's the only way you're going to end up seeing how you end up filling out a full team. I'm not sure if I see Echo as a journey. That's I've never heard that. That's interesting. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd be it, down. It, yeah, I, I think I think it could be a journey or even an epic confrontation. I mean, there's no reason why not. It can't be an epic confrontation more than a legendary, I, I think. But again. The one reason I don't see an epic confrontation is you've always had two sides going against each other and that we've already had separatists going up in an epic confrontation. Yeah. I don't see CG recycling the same team again. Mm -hmm. And I don't see how you can call it a confrontation if you've got old school clones and Bad Batch in the same event. That's why I see a legendary or journey event instead. Interesting. So Interesting. everyone, all the Australians, all you crazy Australians think that it's going to be Echo. It's just a debate of, will it be legendary Echo? Will it be epic confrontation Echo? Nobody's buying my Tarkin theory. It's, I like the idea of Tarkin, don't get me wrong, but I think that there's a more chance of reworking Tarkin than bringing in a new one. That, I, that's just my kind thought. Kind of the way I feel, though. So, I mean, if we're just going to talk about whether, whether or not we get a new Tarkin, I'm not 100% I'm not sold on what the legendary is going to be. More than when I, The more I think about it, I just feel like it doesn't look like it's set up to have a legendary Echo uh, right mm. now. I, I could be wrong. It just doesn't seem like it's set up that way. Um, but the thing about Tarkin, this is a, a totally different version of Tarkin than we have in the game right now. The Tarkin sure. we have in the game is very much Grand Moth Tarkin, Hide of the Empire. This is a pre-Tarkin, pre right? This is, this is a, at least a decade before that right now in Bad Batch. And so I think we could have a, a I think they call him just Admiral Tarkin in, mm. in the, in the trailer, if I remember right. And so it's, it's a new title even. And so I, I don't know. I think with him being the big bad. It seems for the Bad Batch series, I think even if he's not legendary, I think him coming to the game as a second character could actually be pretty likely. Anything subject to change, Cubs. <laughs> Anything is possible, brother. We know I that. Just it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm going to start forbidding you from saying that phrase. Every episode of Rogue no, Action is like, like five editions of <laughs> subject to change, CG. Well, it is. <laughs> but that's it is. CG's rule, right? Not mine. <laughs> not mine. Like, DJ, I got to say, I, I think you'd be fun to hang out in real, with in real life. <laughs> Hey. It definitely is. <laughs> you like that? You like that guy in the group that's just always there to make everyone laugh. He's, right. he, <laughs> he's. I mean, to be fair, he's actually he's actually my armrest right now. I mean, that's basically you know all he does. So you know that, that's basically all he's good for this point in time. Let's let's be clear. Oh man, that's uh, exactly. but, uh, but anyway, right, then. all no. things all things all like things being said. Not, he doesn't seem <laughs> even a little bit offended. He's just like yeah, no, no, no. That's the best part. I no. know my place is unfortunate, but I also ride them, so. <laughs> oh, we could go on for hours. We're on YouTube, brother. Behave yourself. All right, okay. So, uh, so now look again. I think, and and this is the thing. If I can say this first, and I haven't spoken about the Bad Batch too much. I I have Hunter unlocked. I'll be going after tech as well. I won't be wailing too hard on them. You weren't either, Cubs. If I'm right, we talked last week. Well, it's a two tier decision. Number one, yeah, I. Yeah. shouldn't wail right now. Number two, I also, <laughs> even if I could wail right now, I I just, the last several teams they've released just haven't really been super viable. Like, they've they've had some viability, but, like, not really a ton. I mean, the Mando team is not doing anything too meaningful. Moff Gideon and Dark Trooper aren't doing anything too meaningful. They, they have a place in the game, but not, a, a, I want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on this team kind of place if that makes sense. And so I kind of want to just wait and see, you know, and I, that's what I'm telling people, you know, should I, should I go for this right away? And I'm just like, you know what? If you wail on everyone, sure, you know, you're going to do it anyway. But yeah. if you selectively wail, I, I'm going to wait and see. Can I, can I say that this is probably the longest event that's been released over a month? Like they spread out over the yeah, month. They've given the us time to see, I guess. Yeah. They have given us time to find out whether it's worthwhile or not. Yeah. I personally believe at this point, and I don't know anything, this is my opinion only. Let's be clear. I feel this is a bit of a smoke screen at the moment for something bigger coming. Now, again, I know nothing. I have zero information on that. This is all only my prediction. 
I just feel that there's something coming and this is something for us to wail on in the meantime before something big comes. Galactic so let's Legend just Jabba see. confirmed. Heinze has well, Galactic Legend, Galactic Legend something confirmed. Um, <laughs> again, I just well, we, feel... That we that are that... waiting on a Galactic Legend announcement at this point. I mean, based but, on the cadence yeah, of the yeah, last I... ones, we're overdue right now even. And yeah. so I, I think it's... Yeah, I, I would be expecting something like that soon. In fact, when we saw the crumb puzzle, I was frankly shocked that the puzzle led to a marquee character yeah yeah i, 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 I love the, the puzzle was amazing i love that he did those those are great community building moments that's not a slide on what crumb did at all i just the whole time i was in my mind thinking all right this is the next gls and yeah. it wasn't no, i, I was that, really surprised it was a it was a big release expected and it's going to be sooner rather than later i think we all agree with that i think that you know we know how important legends are in this game generally especially now uh, but yeah, I, I certainly believe that there's something big brewing at the moment, and I think that this is something for us to wail and focus on while that's going to be released pretty soon. Uh, I'm banking. Look, to give you an idea, I'm I'm banking energy. I'm doubling up. I'm banking energy at the moment in anticipation of farming tickets. If I don't farm tickets, well, that's fair. I'll spend it on gear. You know who's really uh, banking energy? Have you seen Nem's energy? Yes, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yes, and uh, I've seen a few others as well. I'm only at about eight k at the moment. Some of those are up to thirty to forty k. Yeah, yeah, those those energy packs they sold for a week were a gold mine for people who are hoarding energy. So, all right, let's move on. We got to talk about underrated Zetas now. Um, I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this, but I really feel like Newt Gunray's unique is is an underrated Zeta. A lot of people, I think, enjoy Newt for his, his leadership ability and extortion, uh, but it's easy to gloss over what this what this unique uh, Zeta does. It ad- what it adds is. Whenever a Separatist ally inflicts a debuff, they also deal 5% max health damage to that energy, which can't be evaded. You can't evade that max health damage, 5%, any any debuff. I mean, that's going to be almost every single turn with Separatists. That is a lot of damage you are missing out on if you do not have that Zeta applied to Newt. What do you guys yeah. think? I, I agree. I don't know about you guys. I've got mine Zated. Um, it's, it's obvious. It's a good fit. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that works well. But boys, you got you got yours done. Oh, for me, I had a day one. Yeah, yeah. I think the mandatory is out of not really anything else. No point in having him, especially in the latest latest slot, but not have that data. Amazing. Really? Do you, do you have him, DJ? I do not, but I would like to. If you seen my account, you'd understand yeah. why. Yeah, DJ has a smaller account, very free to play, friendly. It's beautiful stuff. Are, are you, um, is that another joke about his height, calling his account smaller? No, 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 no. That's that's just a bonus. <laughs> that's just a bonus. Uh, but no, he actually he is a free to play account. Um, he is a free to play account, and he does some beautiful work with it. Does yeah. some fantastic work. Gets some good wins. But yeah, it is a free to play one. Quite an early account, so uh, he's he's working pretty hard Two on that. Two years old, young, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, so DJ, one. you're representing all the for you're standing in between two whales there. I mean, the the the, the size here is, is also indicative of the, the accounts, isn't it? For both of you. Oh, no, I just <laughs> did you bigger. did you ever see the video two whales one free to play? <laughs> <laughs> just just asking for a friend. You um, see that one? This is oh. a kids video. Oh, um, is it? Okay. Okay. Sorry. Kid, kid appropriate, not not for <laughs> kids. This is not made for kids, but kid. Anyway, okay. Uh, Heinz, <laughs> tell us about your Zeta. This is going nowhere good. <laughs> you, you, you picked okay. one too. So this guy, right, with with his beautiful hair these days, and you know, looking pretty schmick, he's pretty ripped. Decided to honor me with a Zeta. A stormtrooper. Ah, Wall of stormtroopers. Stormtrooper. Yeah. Stormy is a Zeta that he made me put on. And let me tell you, I have Moff Gideon maxed out. I have Dark Trooper, who I adore, maxed out as well. And in 3v3, especially when I chuck Wall of Stormtrooper, Zeta Stormtrooper in there, he's a hell of a lot of fun. The defense, all the extra offense that he gives to Dark Trooper as well. He's the protection up, everything. Like everything with it, it just works. And now he's just more of a brick wall than he ever was. And I tell you, uh, I'm certainly not regretting uh, the decision of you putting that on my account, man. I'm not <laughs> when I when I gave it to you, it was one of the worst Zetas in this game, and it definitely I I would say underrated is probably a good way to class that. Now, the only thing that I'm personally disappointed by, which kind of circling back to what we talked about before, is it benefits the Imperial Remnant, and I thought we were going to have a sick Imperial Remnant team, and we don't right now. I mean, we really don't. I think that a lot of people are just 
carving out their dark trooper and chucking him in their normal troopers team, getting a little more use out of that and putting Moff Gideon with it with the traditional Empire set. Um, yeah. And so hopefully we do see at some point even more viability for this Zeta from uh, a new Imperial Remnant character that really brings that uh, that Imperial Remnant together. Yeah, there's there's a missing piece, Cubs. We know that. There's a missing piece there still with the Remnants um, to make Gideon's leadership ability actually viable. Uh, we, we know that there's something there that needs to be done at some point sooner rather than later. And once that drops, then we're going to be in a much, much better position and the Remnants will be a lot stronger than they currently are. Um, quite surprised it hasn't happened yet, yeah. to be fair. Sure. Uh, but we'll have to just wait and see. But yeah, at, at the moment, uh, they're not ideal, certainly. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode of Rogue Actions, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, Heinze, thanks for bringing on DJ and Kakarot. Before we end the video here at the end, DJ and Kakarot, mm -hmm. I want to give you guys an open mic here to tell me <gasps> something you've learned about Heinze while you've been with him in real life. Something something you could say that maybe might make him embarrassed, make him blush a little bit. Now's your chance. This is the only chance you're going to get. There's nothing he can do about it. Let me go get the bucket of popcorn. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> He just leaves. <laughs> yeah, you're right, okay, he, DJ, you first. He, he does better than expected. He does better take than that. expected? Take that in your own concept. <clears throat> yep, he does better than expected. Okay. All right. Are you saying he's well-to-do? <laughs> um, I actually have nothing. I think I, me and Hayes spoke enough in the past where I fully expected everything I got from him, to be fair. <laughs> But the fact he's got a very small roof. <laughs> he's got a very what? And very small roof, and for people who caught his latest, latest stream, they will understand that. <laughs> so shout out for everyone who watched the Grizzly session this weekend. Yeah, we 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 had a live stream here where uh, Kakarot decided to jump in the studio here and smashed his head and destroyed my roof. Uh, oh my gosh! Repaired. Are you serious? Uh, it's going to be repaired uh, in the next few days. We'll see how we go. Yeah. There, can you there touch the ceiling damage. while you're standing there? Is it oh, that short? Head. Do it again. Head back. Home. There oh we go. Oh my Straight gosh. <laughs> it's that. Wow. The camera messes with your depth perception. It does not look like it's that close. I'll tell you, it's, it's not a big <laughs> room. Yeah, We've talked about this and that one's going to hurt. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, never mind. That's crazy. I'm sorry about that, guys. Look, it's all right for me. Like, I can jump all day. DJ doesn't have a problem. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this, uh, you... this, video is, this video is one for the ages. I, I apologize, guys. It's, uh, oh, you man. asked for this, Cups. We talked about this. You asked I, for this. And girl. I love it. It's I'm so you. glad we did it. Thank you so much. Uh, big W's in the chat, everyone, for Kakra and DJ. It was it was really fun having you two today. I appreciate having your, me on and Kak on. And oh, thanks, massive fresh thanks, Cubs. Thanks for having us on. Love you, Cubs. <laughs> you too, guys. You guys are all awesome. So, all right, guys. Thanks again for joining us for this video. Uh, we will see you guys next week for Rogue Actions. And as always, my brothers, don't forget. Oh yeah. yeah. Shh. The video is over, guys. <laughs> <laughs>